Hello, my darling ladies. Welcome to my channel. I'm Crystal, your dating coach. Let's stop being so nice. Let's stop saying yes when we want to say no. Let's stop doing things to please others. And we hurt ourselves. So we say yes. Oh, yes, I can come to your party. Yes, I can go out with you tonight. Yes, I can come over. Yes, I can babysit. Yes, 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 yes. We become stressed, frustrated, unhappy to make someone else happy when our happiness is what's the most important. Our happiness, your happiness. You don't do anything in life to make someone else happy if that's going to make you miserable, sad, stressed, frustrated. No one else does. No one else does anything to make you happy and they're going to be unhappy. So stop doing it. Learn to say no. Learn to say, I can't. Learn to say, I'm sorry, I won't be able to. Learn to demand respect. Don't let anyone force you to do something you don't want to do. Which comes to relationships. I am the relationship coach. We have to stop pleasing men and hurting ourselves. Doing things for men just to make them happy, just to please them, just because they want it. And we don't want it. We don't want to do this. We don't want to do that. We don't want to go there. We don't want to go here. And we do it to please him, to please our partner. Stop. Because you know what? You think you're doing this and you're pleasing him and now he's going to like you better. He's going to fall in love. It's the total opposite. He's the total opposite. He's testing you, challenging you. See how far he can go with you. Let him know he can go anywhere with you. You are a high value woman. You demand respect. You do nothing you don't want to do. So, okay, in a relationship, of course, we have to compromise. If not, we stay single. We can't do everything just what we want to do. But that doesn't mean that you do something for a partner that you don't like, that you don't want to do that you don't feel like doing to make him happy. No, we don't do that. And when he does something that upsets us, like breaks a date, shows up late, forgets to do something we ask him to do, stop saying, oh, that's okay. Oh, it's all right. Oh, don't worry about it. No, get mad, get angry. Show him he must respect you because he'll do it again and again and again. He won't stop because it's like, well, you know, came late. I broke the date. She asked him to do this. I didn't do it, but she never gets upset. She never says anything. So I don't have to worry about doing anything that I don't want to do. No, you get angry. When he shows up late for that date, you're angry. Why didn't you call me? Why are you late? What were you doing? When he breaks the date, why are you breaking this date? We had plans. What is more important? Couldn't you let me know before? You demand respect because men are nicer to women who are meaner. Yes, you heard me right. That's not saying to be mean to a man. I'm not saying be mean to a man, treat him bad, disrespect him. No, I'm saying you don't do anything that you don't want to do. So maybe you seem mean because he wants you to do this. He wants you to go here. But you say, no, I don't want to. I'm not doing that. And that's where you become mean because you're respecting yourself. You know what? He respects you. He respects you. I remember when I was 19 and my boyfriend was on the phone talking to his friend and they were asking him to go out with them. And he said, oh, no, um, listen, I can't. I, I got plans with Crystal. And I heard them say, yeah, well, you know, just tell her you got other plans. Just break the date. Said, no, no, no. I can't do that with Crystal. If I do that, she'll get angry. She, she might leave me. Yes, darling. He must fear you. <laughs> fear you. He must think, if I do this, if I do that, if I lie to her, if I'm late, if I'm mean to her, if I disrespect her, she may leave me. She will get angry. Always respect yourself. And in all levels. So you're waiting for him to tell you, I love you. You're waiting for him to propose. You're waiting for titles. You want him to call you his girlfriend. 
and you just let it slide because, you know, it's okay. It's not a big deal. Title's not a big deal. Him saying I love you, that's not a big deal. Marriage, that's not a big deal. You're not really interested. Stop lying to yourself because you are. You are interested in titles. You want him to call you his girlfriend. You want him to be your boyfriend. When you go out and about, you don't want him to introduce you as Mary Jane. You want him to introduce you as his girlfriend. So it's important. So demand it. Demand that you become his girlfriend. Usually in a relationship, you don't have sex. You don't become intimate with a man until he calls you his girlfriend. But if he hasn't yet called you his girlfriend, demand it. I want you to call me your girlfriend. Are we in a relationship? Yes or no? If he says no, I'm not sure, I don't know, end it. What are you wasting your time for? End it. He's not sure what he wants. Well, let him be unsure alone, not with you. You want to get married. It's been a year, two years, maybe for some women, five years. He hasn't proposed yet. And you're like, well, it's okay. It's no problem. He's convinced you it's just a piece of paper. Well, you know what? A driver's license is a piece of paper. The paper and a passport, those are just pieces of paper. But you can't drive without a license. You can't go to Europe without your paper passport. It's not just paper. It's a commitment. It's telling the whole world he loves you. I love her. I want to be my wife. Marriage means something. Living together means absolutely nothing. When he asks you to live with him, it means nothing. He gets a free cook, cleaner, sex every night in his bed. What do you get? What do you get? Nothing by moving in with him. Because that's what he wants. He wants you to move in. Of course he wants you to move in. doesn't have to call you up and ask you for a date. Hope you'll go out with him. Hope you're going to have sex because when he comes home, every night you're in that bed. So you must stop saying it's okay, it's all right, I don't care, it doesn't matter. No, it does matter. You must care. You must demand respect. You must start becoming a bitch. Yes. You must stop thinking that everything is okay because he says everything's okay. No. Everything's not okay because you want certain things in this relationship and you must have them. And if you don't get them, he doesn't tell you, I love you, which is important in a relationship. He doesn't love you. If he doesn't say, I love you, he doesn't love you. And if he doesn't want to say it, end the relationship. He doesn't want to get married. You're waiting for him to propose one year, five years. When is he going to propose? You tell him, I want to become your wife. Is that what you want? This relationship to become further, stronger, profound. Do you want me to become your wife? I don't know. I'm not sure. End it. Stop being so nice. Accepting everything. Going along with everything. Forgetting what you want because he doesn't want it. He doesn't want it. So you convinced yourself you don't want it. No, you want it. You want the titles. You want him to say, I love you. You want to get married. You want to move out of the apartment and get a home together. So my darlings, men are nicer to women who are meaner. Men are nicer to women who demand respect. Men respect women who have standards. So get some standards. Demand that respect. Have the relationship you desire and deserve. And if he doesn't want the same things you do, I will date you. Ciao. Bye bye. Next. Because your soulmate, Mr. Wright, who wants what you want, is out there waiting for you. So don't waste your time. Demand respect. When he is wrong, let him know. It's not okay when he says, oh, it's okay, or you're too sensitive, or you get angry so easily, or it's not a big deal. No, it is a big deal. If you're angry, if you feel hurt, sad, frustrated, uncomfortable, then it is a big deal. And if he doesn't understand that, that's his problem. You let him know. You let everyone know that they must respect you. So start being demanding, demanding respect, and stop being so nice. When you want to say no, 
say no. Mwah. Give me a thumbs up. Share with your friends. And talk to you soon.